Good morning, boomers. It's the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, today I want to talk about Bitcoin and the price of the coin market caps. How are things looking out there on the field? And a Canadian speed skater who became the first Olympian to receive an endorsement deal paid for in cryptocurrency out there but first let me shout out all the champagne crypto maniacs out there holding it down deep within the crypto trenches still kabooming the like button letting the world know that champagne crypto is out here spreading the good crypto word bitcoin currently trading at 8637 up 2.58 percent in the past 24 hours now it's nice to see bitcoin trading somewhat sideways it seems like it's found some sort of support these past few days after last week's bloodbath out there in the cryptocurrency market caps we saw a lot of red out there and finally it looks like we found some stabilization this week closer to the eight thousand and now nine closer to the nine thousand dollar range hopefully We'll see $10,000 sooner than later. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about these prices. Where are things headed? Okay. Ethereum also trading sideways. Uh, Litecoin. Uh, still see the lights. You know, I got a bag of lights. And I'm looking at NEO and EOS. I, I want to, I'm questioning whether I should get more NEO and EOS. Um, perhaps they will grow in value more than Ethereum. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but perhaps drop a comment below and let me know what you think about NEO and EOS. Will they grow more? Okay. And then um, let me know what you think about Canadian speed skater Ted Jan Bloman recently became the first athlete paid in crypto when he struck a one year sponsorship deal with ONG Social, a social network and crypto community, and Keek VR. A developer of virtual reality experience. Keek VR, C E E K V R. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Seek or Keek VR, but you guys can check it out. So apparently, he's going to document his Olympic journey on the ONG social network and uh, star in a 360 virtual reality experience on Keek VR. And in return, they're paying him in crypto. Apparently, he said on this article, I think, that he already cashed out some crypto. Uh, so, you know, yeah, you guys can check that out as well. Let me know what you think about these Olympians there with the crypto. I'll tell you, I was expecting to see more cryptocurrency representation at the Olympics, being that it's being held in South Korea. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the South Koreans are crypto maniacs. I see a lot of exchanges out there in South Korea, and I know that they like the bits, uh, you know, apparently. So I was surprised not to see more representation of the blockchain industry out there during these olympics but it's nice uh to see canadian speed skater uh mr ted jan bloman out there getting some bits okay drop a comment below let me know what's shaking and baking out there how's this week looking for you what do you think is bitcoin going to go closer to ten thousand? it's going to hold sideways are we going to see more olympians with cryptocurrency as the olympics keep going on now uh or what Drop a comment below. It's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest champagne. Thanks for tuning in.